Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh. We're recording. Here oh. we go. <laughs> <That is your phone. sighs> so, so, today, now is the last reflections we'll ever do. No, no. don't say that. Okay, in 2013, during this experience that we've had this whole week, yeah. the week is over. <gasps> we got tomorrow. <laughs> it. It's a long day of playing cards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I'm but looking so forward listen, to listen, it. The plane is not leaving until 8 o'clock. I know. But listen, let's put this get serious. We got here on Sunday. Yeah. Mine is Sunday 3 o'clock. Tomorrow is Sunday, so we've been here seven full days tonight. Yeah. What was your favorite, <coughs> favorite memory? What jumps out in your head? From this week, Erin. Okay, yeah, just say. Wendy's. Say. Wendy's. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, um. That little girl from yesterday. That. Um, at the rock. Away. At the Rockaway Suki. Yes. Kitchen. Okay. Anybody else? Saint Bart's Soup Kitchen. Who? Saint. Saint Bart's. Saint Bart's Soup Saint Kitchen. Saint. What? What? Any spe any specific thing that happened there that you remember? No, I think it was really cool. Anybody yeah. else? And I had the yes. flow and stuff. Mm. You had the flow? Oh my god. Oh, that's right, when you were able to... <coughs> hey, you did have the flow. <laughs> I mean, you gave you gave away stuff that I could not give away for two hours, and BAM! You gave that stuff. It was good. You had the flow, there's no doubt. Anybody else? Anything else? Exactly. Of course. Oh! Of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Kip, uh, everything has been, like, really really great. What did you guys think of the um, Henrik Martin Institute for G L B L B G T L G B T Q L G B T questioning questioning gay lesbian no no L G B T Q gay transsexual bisexual questioning bisexual cancelled what did you think of that one it was really cool. Yeah. Just yeah. the walking was so cool. Mm -hmm. That was really interesting with those. And Scott, he was nice guy. Yes. really nice guy. And he was so easy to talk with. He was really open and yeah. He's a great guy. Yeah. Make sure you become friends with him on Facebook. He's a yeah. nice, really nice guy. And all of the kids. And are yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and all the kids at uh, LG. Oh. HMI it's called. HMI, exactly. It's really uh, welcoming. Yeah. And like, here, take a seat and um, explain everything to us. That was really cool. And mm -hmm. there was so much energy in that room. Mm -hmm. It's just... And DVD! Yeah. yeah, that was cool. Don't forget them. That didn't seem like that was a while ago. Yeah, that yeah. was a long time ago. Yeah. I feel like that was like last year. Yeah. <laughs> now I've become like one year older. Uh, yeah. At least a month ago. I thought that was a great way to start it off by just taking a high risk. Of what we had, I had no idea. It's cool. Mm -hmm. um, today we were in soup kitchen. That was a little different. We were in the yeah. South Bronx. Yeah. But it wasn't that bad. But then no. um, you guys had an interesting conversation with a guy who. He was in prison? J what? Yeah, he was in prison for three years, then he got out, and then got back to prison for two years again. No, three years again, and I was like... But he was a nice guy. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Then he came up to me afterwards, he's like, Yeah, those Norwegians are nice. I never talked to a Norwegian before. <laughs> but it's, it's so sad. that every, every, Everyone we talk to is like, Where are you from? And we're like, From Norway. Ah, oh, the massacre. <gasps> no, oh. really? Everybody said that. Oh, wow. Wow. It's like, like we were that's talking Norway. about the massacre. Hey, Norway's on the map now for the wrong thing, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's so bad. We talked about it in, what was it, in class at Hackley? Yeah, me too. We talked about really? It there. Yeah, yeah, me too. Because they're, they were having a class about, what was it, Katina? Social studies? Yeah, almost like social studies. And they were talking about guns and stuff. And then they asked how the laws are in Norway, 
and then we talked about it, and then they or we mentioned the massacre. Mm. So Brevik. they all know. I think it's been one. It's been a, been a good week. A lot of good contrasts all over the place. I don't think you guys ever saw the true bottom bottom, no. but I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe for this trip that wasn't necessary. You don't need to see a dead body to feel like you've seen Bob. <coughs> but have you seen some situation that we haven't seen that could have been... On this trip? Yeah. Uh, no. Thank God. And okay. my radar was on. That's why I stood up in the subway all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm watching, watching, watching. There was never, only uh, today. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. I That's know. the only time my radars what came happened? on alert. The guy who sold us. Huh? Did no. Yeah. Yeah. Because the guy that came in, he earlier sold chocolate to. Was that the same dude? Yeah, yeah that was the same dude. Yeah, yeah. That's why you so that, Yeah, that so was scared. why I looked at him. I didn't know that was the same guy. It was the same guy. He said the, the exact same lines. Like he's selling chocolate stuff before it good causes. That was the dude that came and pissed off and everything? Yeah. Wow. It was all I knew off. that guy was. What did he say? I wasn't listening to what he was saying. I was just watching his body and to see what the hell he was doing. But he was... But he sold everything. The box was empty. Yeah, and you know what? He showed all the money he earned to the whole train. Uh, train. Big it, it was like this big. What? And then he started to talk about pot and stuff. So When? On the train. He was... Because you, you were away from us. But all his behavior was... Not, yeah, yeah, it was not good. And he was just... Look, he was totally pumped up. Yeah, he so. was. Way too pumped up for a t you know train that was crowded, but that was the closest thing. So that's you know, okay. that's why I switched to Norwegian on you, even though I said don't speak Norwegian because mm -hmm. I didn't want anybody else to know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. That was it. My biggest concern was Monday with DVD. Yeah. Oh. When we were going there, I oh. warned you guys. If it's situations uncomfortable, just listen to me. We we're out of there. Well, who knows? But it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah it was. We really nice people. Well, who knows? But that's me and my. What's that? I was guilty of prejudging. Mm -hmm. Just because I have to take care of you, and also you never know. I mean, Vance, I only met him a half hour a year ago, and over the internet, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. But it works. Just like Jessica. Be nice. It works. Doesn't cost anything to be nice to people. Vance and uh, De uh, De 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 Debra and Derek. Jesus Christ. I mean, I think they, they got more out of it than we did. <coughs> what are you girls laughing at? Nothing. <coughs> DVD. Anyway. Um, and today in the South Bronx, you girls also met. Uh, Senorita. That sweet Puerto Rican lady. Yeah. No. yeah. And that was nice. That was really nice. She was really cool. She was so funny. <laughs> she was our fourth member. Yeah. Our fourth member. But what was some of the stories she was saying about the nighttime? That she doesn't go out of her house after six o'clock in the evening. Because the area is so bad, there's so a lot of drugs and people stealing, robbery, and the police is like everywhere at nights. Um, and they just killed a little kid or something? Yeah, yeah some away. blocks away they killed a kid. Yeah. And the neighbors seemed okay, right? Yeah. yeah. And then when she's telling stories like, never go out after 6 o'clock, never! But that is because we see like the church society and that's different than people driving in a car at night. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad you guys didn't have to see the darkness of dark, but you got the point. Without any having any extra drama, you know. So you have rules when you go back. New York? No, back home. Rules. Rules. Not many, but some important rules. Are you gonna tell us, or are we gonna tell you? I'm gonna tell you. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, listen up. What? What are you? What? What are you whispering in his ear? 
<laughs> they would go out after six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number one. You are not allowed to wear anything you bought in New York for two weeks. Nothing. Zero. Once you get back to Norway. You okay. must wait two weeks to put on anything you purchased in New York. Okay. Close or one more time then? You can't, you can't wear, wear candy. candy. Oh my yeah. god. You can wear it in the pocket. Okay, next Nothing. Rule. Reason why is everyone's expecting you to. Yeah. Oh, what you buy in New York? That's going to be the first mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. And if you go, oh, I bought this, I bought that, isn't it so nice? Oh, it's so then you're feeding into their stereotype of why you went to New York. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I only bought a pair of shoes. Two weeks. Okay. Nothing. Two weeks. And at the end of those two weeks, when you put it on finally in school, I guarantee you nobody will notice. Okay. It's okay. That's fair. It yeah. is. To the trip, it is fair. Yeah. Next rule is you must immediately thank Blue Roger. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. At least five times. Mm -hmm. I mean, this man put up a lot of money, a lot of everything. And he also, I mean, he takes a huge risk in doing this and sending me with you after only we met two weeks ago. Uh, I mean, there's, there's so much risk on this trip, it's ridiculous. So thank him from the bottom of your heart. Yeah, we will. And then you have to give an extra effort in your presentation. Sure. Yeah. Those are the three rules. Okay. You can't half ass the presentation, which is. Oh, let's just do the presentation like we always do in Bjorn. I'll just, night. how much does this trip mean to you? Do your best to show it. Because that presentation, remember we promised a bunch of people? Yeah. Yes, we did. Uh, a lot of people wanted to see the presentation. Yeah. So, put some extra work into it. Yeah. They put a lot of work into you this week. A yeah. lot of people, right, all you got was love, all you got was respect. They went out of their way. Everybody, Scott. Holly, Adriana, uh, uh, everybody. I can't remember, there's nobody who didn't go out of the way for us. We're the ones who came 4,000 miles away and they were the ones who went out of their schedule and stopped everything and made it happen. And Holly even, they were so sweet. She gave us the blankets for the lacrosse game. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. That was, like, it was everything. That was, yeah. She had thought of everything for the day for us. Food, drink, people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anybody else want to say anything else about the week? You're going to look at this video years from now. And it's going to mean something to you. I would say that I think you all have become more confident. Mm -hmm. Because we have been out of the comfort zone so many times. Or that we just went out to people and said, hello, how are you doing? And that, that is stuff we're not used to because that's not normal to do in Norway. To just, you know, take initiative and be very open. I think we are more confident in that now, to be open to other people and don't be so afraid. The worst thing that can happen is someone not caring that much or just saying no. That's mm -hmm. not the end of the world. Or like the little girl did to me today when I asked the directions, they kept on walking. Yeah. yeah. Those were the only ones. But you can understand that two little girls yeah. walking in the South Bronx. Yeah. Oh, there were like so many. And yeah. It's, 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 thank it's God they didn't talk to you. You know, I look back, I'm like, that was really good they didn't talk. That's the worst thing that can happen. People that ignore you. Yeah. Nothing was. But you guys didn't ignore Brett. You got a great experience. Yeah. And then we never went back to find that other guy's name. Yeah. The guy, remember that nice guy? Yeah. yeah. Gosh, we know that. But all the um, domicile people have been the nicest. Super. Yeah. They're like, oh, hey, uh, why don't you check out that pl this place? Or why don't mm -hmm. you do this or that? And, uh, and I think also most intellectual people. Yeah, yeah. they are. They're really Everyone was <laughs> so red, so brains like this. So why are the people who are the sharpest living in the street? Makes, I don't know if that would make sense. 
but it's like it's a bit scary because if you, like when you have things that you want to give away, like socks or soap, it can be a bit offending if you go to someone and say like, do you want these things? Some people yeah. would, be, would be like, no, why would I have these? You know, mm. and that's a bit scary when we approach someone and you come it's with something that is more offensive not to offer. One thing I learned from this trip is when we, when I bring my family here in the summer, um, I want to make sure that I always have something in my backpack, mm. so that when I see somebody on domicile, to give them, because I want my kids to learn that lesson that we, that I learned on this one of the many lessons I learned was, the on domicile are people too, yeah. and the least I could do is offer them something, have you know, go to Dwayne Reed doesn't cost that much to have some yeah. stuff and just offer it to them. Like that last guy with his feet, my feet hurt. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. He got he said, You scared me, all there's so many of you. But then he relaxed. And then he he appreciated being seen. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even understand what he was saying. I was like, yeah. But it didn't matter. He was seen. Yeah. All the everybody's walking by him. Yeah. And then he was seen. I think that's what we all want to be is to be seen. Yeah. Well, in Norway, Tebon, and the bus, nobody wants to be seen, right? Mm -hmm. And yet here, we notice, we learn that human nature, that's the one fundamental thing there is. Just see me. I exist. Interesting. You came here to learn how to exist, and what you learn that the, everybody wants to just exist. Yes. Thanks for coming. Thank Thanks you for letting for us come. Yeah. Uh, letting you come has been my pleasure. To see the uh, <coughs> to experience a part of New York no one sees. Especially from Norway. Because they only come here to. Yeah. What are you doing? Rabbit patience. But that's a bit boring if you if you would just come here and do like shopping because that was we had like three hours. Or we used three hours in twenty minutes, but we got everything that we needed. So why do people come to shop? It's more than three hours and twenty minutes. Trust me. Oh. Mm. I think. Not I think I know. It's gonna be difficult for you to be so ignorant of mm -hmm. people when you come back to New York in the future. Mm -hmm. And in years from now, when you come back and you'll be with your uh, significant other, your boyfriend or girlfriend, or maybe with your kids many years from now, I think you guys are going to have a different way of seeing New York. Yeah, yes. A better way, a healthier way. Mm -hmm. And for some of us, that was this first trip. We're going to look at it at a whole new perspective. But remember, it's just not New York. It's the whole world. It's yeah, Norway, yeah. too. Yeah, that's true. So, you guys gave yourself your own homework assignment, and we ended by a reminder. You guys have to find a soup kitchen yeah. in Norway. Yeah. And, 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 and invite the last groups. And invite the last, last two groups. Yeah. yeah, last two groups. Let's do that. We'll do, do that. that. Yeah. And then we'll make another vlog video. Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> yeah, we have to. <coughs> The, so. the, the group from last year actually they said wrote something on Facebook. They're getting together in uh, April, um, April, April. They already found a day that a lot of them are going to be in, in Oslo because a lot of them are traveling. They're afraid of being, you know what? Um, together? No. Um, Replaced? Yeah, by us. <laughs> I think it's it is natural feeling to feel like. I think Eva wrote it best. She goes, "It's now your trip." She wrote that on Facebook or something. Who wrote that? Eva. Oh, yeah. She wrote, is now your trip the day you guys posted your first pictures from New York? Oh, yeah. And, it's, to and it's totally understandable. But it's still, it's still theirs. They still have yeah. everything they learned. Yeah. But you're just the next class. Yeah. You're the class of 2013. Mm -hmm. But they were really happy to see us, you know, like because now it's your turn. Because yeah. they know how yeah. what you get out of this and that yeah. it changes your it should change the way you are for forevermore. 
you have to go to a soup kitchen with them, it would be so great. Mm -hmm. That would be very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So, it's always hard to do these things at the end. Yeah, no, no one has to press the stop button. <laughs> Let's just sit here and... <laughs> sit here and be awkward! Yeah. <laughs> one of the classic ones. Uh, no. The thing is, the beauty of it is, all of this, if, it w if, if New York was used correctly, and if the reflections were good in the evening, then this is the beginning of you. Do not, do not go into your old Norwegian mode when you get off the plane and go to moon. That's the comfortable thing. Oh, I'm back in Norway. Okay, I know how to do this. But then you're right back to where you were. It's like putting on the same old suit. But that suit shouldn't fit anymore. Don't do that to yourself. You're disrespecting yourself. You should be catching yourself when you go back to your room, when you get home, or you're getting dressed for school, you're in school, and you're going back to the same routine that you've done every day. You should catch yourself when you're in the middle of your routine and go, wait a minute, no, wait a minute. There, now you've learned. But it's normal to go back into the routine. I mean, of course, I'm going to school. I do, I know how to do that. But you're not the same person you were. That's your homework assignment for life. With that said, we say goodnight. Say goodnight, Gracie. Crazy. <laughs> there, was a, there was a black and white. Uh, you know how you guys like American TV shows? Yeah. No, we don't. Yeah. Oh Lord, you guys all got Netflix yeah. accounts. And there was a black and white one called The Honeymooners. Even it was old when I was a kid. I think from the forties or fifties, probably. Wow. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was George Burns when he was young. Anyway, he had the famous last line, and he would say. Say good night, Gracie, and then Gracie look. Good night, Gracie. So I'll give you a Hackley last line. Good night, Gracie. <laughs> <laughs> At Hackley, the famous English teacher oh, no. Oh, no. that you guys oh, no. never met. You know, Hackley has all these great quotes. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, come. No, it was written on a couple of the walls, and uh, his name was Mr. Nathan. There was Nathan. There was a Nathan room. Uh, there was a lot of Nathan. That was from him. He was my. He's the senior English teacher. Oh. He had a bassy voice. I mean, bassy voice. He was considered one of the most knowledgeable people on Shakespeare that ever existed. And when we had to read Shakespeare, he would start reading the sentences and close the book and just continue. And we were reading the book, and this guy was going page after page, reciting Shakespeare from here. He was insane. And, uh, yeah. I got, I was always blown away. And my mouth split the whole 45 minutes. He was the sm smartest man I had met at that point. Anyway, he ended every class. We knew class was over because you were getting lectured by this genius about life. He would take one sentence of Shakespeare and talk about 45 minutes. For example, the opening line of uh, Moby Dick is what? What's the opening sentence? Of what? Moby Dick, the book. <laughs> you guys never read that. You never read it. You never read Moby Dick? No. no. Aren't you in high school? No. no. You don't read the classics? No. No. You gotta go to Hackley. <laughs> the opening sentence of Moby Dick is Call me Ishmael. Call me Ishmael. Call me. Call me Ishmael. It's a name. Ishmael. Yeah. Ishmael. 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 So we opened up Moby Dick. Mr. Nathan said, open up to page one. <laughs> <laughs> and we, yeah, this is no joke. So you open up to page one. Chapter one. He goes, and this is powerful stuff, he goes. He, holds, he always holds it like that. Very stern, hold the book with his thumb in the middle. He goes, call me Ishmael. He slammed the book closed. And we all jumped. He goes, You have just finished reading Moby Dick. <laughs> <laughs> and we all sat there, What the hell is this man talking about? <laughs> what? How can we have just read a whole book by reading 
Uh, <laughs> it's easy. By reading the first sentence of the book. Call me Ishmael. And for 45 minutes he explained how that one sentence was the exact, was the whole story of Moby Dick. Uh -huh. Do you remember, if you know anything about the Bible, do you remember the guy who got swallowed by the whale? Ishmael? You know, his name was Ishmael. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the book? The story of what he did and what he experienced and how he experienced it. He tied it together and that was the whole book of Moby Dick was based on that. Yeah. So when you want to read the whole book of Moby Dick, all you have to do is read the first sentence of Moby Dick. <laughs> now you read it too? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and he took, he, but he took 45 minutes to break it whole down thing down with the Bible, the, how you connect everything, how the whole story. And then we were all done. We all were in awe. And then we knew he was done with the class because he says, Goodbye, Racy. No. Good night. He was a, <laughs> he was finished his lecture and go, go forth go. and spread beauty and light. Wow. Like that was sad. Um, before I go out to the chapel, right? Yes, yes. Go hard or go home. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good night, Grace. No, 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 no. Something you have to say. Uh, to, to be a friend.